Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I will show you how to install and set up Scrapey Splash. This will allow you to scrape dynamic website and JavaScript content using Scrapey. The first thing we need to do is install Docker, otherwise we can't run Scrapey Splash. I'm at the Splash website where you will have a guide on how to do the installation of Docker. Um, there is a link in the tutorial where you can find this website. Alright, so I am using a Mac, so we're gonna get OS X plus Docker. Let's open this link. And go to products. And select Docker desktop. I have a Mac with Apple ship. Press that and download it. Once downloaded, press the docker.gmg file to install it in your applications. I already have it, so I'm not going to do this right now. Let's close that one. And the Docker app, when running, it looks like this. So, under images, I already have the scraping hub slash, slash splash. Uh, image, but I'm gonna show you how to get it here. We open a terminal Let's clear that one out. And we need the This command sudo docker pull scraping up slash splash Let's paste that one in and run it and my password Here we go so it tells me that I already have the latest image. So that's good. Let's go back to Docker. Over here. And if this works for you, you should now have an image here, like I do. So you press run and you extend this one, optional settings, and you name it, whichever name you would like. I will use splash. Then you need to select the local host. I will use 8050 as suggested. You press run. And I got an error since I already have a container named splash, which is here, container apps splash. I will run that one. And after this one, you can press open in browser. And this one should pop up. All right, let's install the Python package. So we'll go to terminal and let's clear that one. Pip3 installs scrapey hyphen splash requirement already satisfied since I already have installed it. Okay. Otherwise you just install it as any Python packages you normally do. Let's see the website that I will use Splash to scrape. It's the Thinkster Books website, where all the books for sale on Thinkster are available. It's 14 in total. What I would like to do is scrape the book cover image. So we'll get 14 images from this one and uh, let's inspect the first one to see how it looks I will use and it has a image class that's good and it says that the image is lazy loaded so this means that it's probably dynamic content and that's a good thing since we are using scrapey splash all right, I will start a, let's use a scrapey shell to have a look at it. Fetch. This one. Alright, debug crawl 200 looks good. 
let's create books response.css so a spam tag that I can use for this over here let's select this one no yeah Here we go. Let's print the len of books to see if it's 14 of them. There it is. Now I would like to get the SRC set attribute of the first image. Let's get that one. Books.css uh, EMG dot attrib SRC set. Hmm. It says key error, meaning that this attribute is part of the dynamic content of the website. And that is why we're going to use splash. So we do a new fetch, which looks like this. Let's select localhost. And we do render dot html question mark url equals to this one. Let's put that one in there like that. 404 and debug crawl 200. Good. We'll do the books command again and we can do len of books oh sorry we'll do this one it's still 14 that's a good thing so now let's run this one again and look at that now we got all the links to the images so this is the power of using scrapey splash it can get things that Scrapey cannot get on its own. So let's exit that one and I'm already in my spider project that I created for this or the Scrapey project that I created for this one. Let's run the tree command and we will it should look like this. Now to use Scrapey Splash with your spider you need to alter the settings.py file which is this one and I will show you in my pie charm let's open up the settings file which is this one and have a look at that one so the thing that you need to add in this one is this part splash setup you need to add all of this um, this part is available in the tutorial so you can either copy it from that this part is important because without it splash won't work so make sure that you have edit your settings.py file and uh, we can shut that one down and have a look at the actual spider that I built for this project all the code for this is also available in the tutorial and I will go through it more in detail in the actual tutorial than I will do here. We'll just have a quick look at it. The name, the URL, we have a function called download images, download image, sorry, and it will download the image and save it to a specified folder and name it. We have the start requests function which yield a splash request. If you use Scrapey before you know that you usually yield a Scrapey request here but in this one we use a splash request instead. You provide it URL and the callback function, which is self.parse, which is this one. And here I specified the download path. This is where I will save the images. I used a folder in my documents folder called Fingster underscore books. And as I did in Scrapey Shell before, I collect all the books. 
I loop over them and for each book I extract the image URL and the name of the book. Then I pass them to my download images image function. And that's pretty much it. I will run it and see if it does what it's supposed to do. You can find all the code for this in the tutorial if you would like to reproduce it yourself. So, scrapey call book. Here we go. So it did something. Let's see if it worked. We'll go to documents and things to books and yeah, it looked like it did. I have 14 book covers here. So it did what it was supposed to do. I guess that's it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. 